Hello, Stampers. I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Sheridan, Wyoming. Now, I'm here right now shooting this video. We're out west visiting our bestie Barb, Dina and I. And uh, by the time you watch this video, I will be back home. So, I am going to be sharing a project with you today. We have a winter wishes theme for the Stampers Dozen Blog Hop. And I decided to go with the snowman season because while this is a great set for Christmas cards, it's also a great set for just about anything else. Get well wishes, birthday wishes, thinking of you wishes, because you can make a lot of cute things with it. We're going to flip the camera around and I'm going to show you a fun gift card holder. Hang tight. First of all, we're gonna start out with all the supplies that I used for this gift card holder. I'm gonna bring in the biggest wish because like I said, I wanted to make a birthday card, a winter themed birthday card. And then the snowman season, this is a fantastic little set. It's been around for a while. You get 12 different stamps in here. I'm also gonna be using the polka dots from the checks and dots embossing folders and these are just so fun. We have quite a few of these mini folders. Hang on, let me get out the other one here. We're gonna be using the polka dot. So you can see that texture in there. Love these. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna keep this one out here so we can use that. I've got pool party ink, memento ink, pumpkin pie stamp or stamp and blend. And then I decided to bring in our pattern party designer series paper. Now this is only available if you host a party or if you have an order that's over $150. It's in the back of our catalog, the annual catalog, and you get a gazillion pages of this. It is a huge pack of paper, but I love the fact that we have bright and colorful on one side and then black and white on the other because you guys know we can do so many things with that. In comes my cardstock layers. Now, our card base is basic white thick, and this is four and a quarter by 11. And then I've got a piece of basic black that is three and three quarters by seven. We're gonna score both of those. I took a piece of this particular designer series paper from the pattern party, and this little piece is three and a quarter by four. I've got a scrap of black, a couple scraps of black actually, a scrap of white, a scrap of soft suede, and then I've got a three quarter inch strip of the designer series paper. So we're gonna do our scoring first here. I'll bring in my paper trimmer and on the card base, we're going to score that on the long side at two inches and seven and a half inches. And then this black piece, we're gonna score at a half an inch, again, on the long side, half an inch. And then I'm gonna turn it around and score it at five inches. And I like to do it that way when I have a small amount because it just um, holds better in my paper cutter for me. So again, we're at five inches. We're going to grab this little embossing folder right away. And I just want to emboss this little panel from the score line to the end with the polka dots. So I'm going to open this up so I can see my score line, put that in right up to the polka dots that are in there. I'm gonna run this through the die cutting machine. I'll be right back. And here comes those polka dots on this little edge. So we can fold on our score line. My bone folder here. And then on this other little score line that we have over here, we're gonna fold that backwards, okay? So this is how we're folding this layer. And as long as we're right here, I am going to grab that little strip. This was uh, three and three quarters of an inch, inch wide. Oh, I guess it's a little wider. I mean longer. Three quarters wide by it should be three and three quarters long, but I'm just going to trim it off here. 
So I'm, I just want a little bit of that to stick out on the edge of my, what's going to be my pocket. So I'm gonna take just some regular tape, tape that right on the edge here. And then I just find it's easier to bring that in this way than try to put it on there and turn it over and tape it. I'm gonna have better luck this way, okay? We can trim this off just like that. And if you want, you can put some adhesive on here now that'll kind of hold it down a little bit better. I don't know that you really need to, but we'll do a little bit there. Now I'm gonna grab tear and tape. It's a little different working in somebody else's studio because you don't quite know where everything is, but Dina and I have been here long enough now that we are acclimated back into Barb's studio. And man, she has got quite a setup here. Everything is just so handy. Everything is right over there for me. So I love this. I need to make some changes perhaps when I get home because this is a pretty sweet setup. Okay, so tear and tape to make our pocket. And where did my, here's my gift card. Little gift card that's gonna go in here. Oops, hang on. Oops, that's how it goes. <laughs> I was trying to put it in this way. It really won't fit that way unless you use something super thin on the edges, or you could make this a little bit wider. But I'm putting my gift card in just like this. Now, we're going to need a little bit more tear and tape on this edge right here, too. There we go. We're just going to set this aside for now so we can make the rest of our card. Uh, let's get a few things done and then we'll start assembling that. So I've got a piece of black. I forgot to mention that I'm going to be using the basic borders dies. This is a set of six um, edgelets or edge dies and these are all the edges you get out of here. So we've um, been creating with this because it is in our next online class. So as long as you have it out, then you have all kinds of good ideas to use it for, right? And that's exactly what happened with this card. Okay, I'm going to use the, um, like, Rick Rack. And I've got just a little piece of washi tape that I have put on my clothing a few times so that it's not too sticky. I don't want it to tear my cardstock. I'm just going to put this on a scrap. And my scrap needs to be at least four and a quarter inches long. The width really isn't important. So once you put this through your die cutting machine and cut it out, you're gonna end up with two pieces. And I've already done that. And isn't that just the cutest? I love all of these edge dies. We're going to set that aside. We're gonna grab our snowman builder punch. This also matches up with the snowman season stamp set, punch out that hat out of the basic black scrap. We'll set that right over there. Then I would like my snowman arms to be made out of soft suede. Let's see if I've got that. So I get, oops, two little arms here of soft suede. We'll set that aside. And now we're gonna do some stamping. Uh, we're going to stamp our snowman on here, bring in my stamp set. I'll be using Memento ink for that. Oops, there comes our cute little snowman. Uh, let me set this aside now. We can punch this out with the snowman builder punch. I think punches just make things so easy, don't they? They're like my favorite. Here comes our little snowman. The only thing we're gonna do to that snowman is use that blend to color his nose. So we're keeping this really simple. Now you could do a, all kinds of shading with some pool party or some light gray if you wanted to, but I wanted to keep this fairly simple. So we're just gonna set him over here with the rest of our bits and pieces. Now we've got our edge here that is the smaller 
score line. And then we've got this one that is the bigger score line. I am going to stamp my little snowman. This is the one that's throwing the snowballs up in the air. I'm gonna stamp him right over here. Oops, let me make sure I got that inked up good. Right over here on this side. And again, I'm going to be using the Stampin' Blend for his nose only. Now, you don't need to worry about this bleeding through the other side. You can see it here because that's where we're gonna take this designer series paper and cover it up. So we can do that right now. We're gonna layer that right on here. We're gonna, this is our card now. So we're gonna take this side, open this up and grab our pool party. And that's where we're gonna bring in the Biggest Wish stamp. This is one of my favorites. If you don't have this, you definitely need to get it. There are just so many fun ideas with this particular stamp set. So here comes Happy. I'm gonna, well, let me get my hair out of the picture. I am going to stamp my happy with pool party ink and I'm gonna go right in the middle. And that's just easier for me to start there and do one at the top and one at the bottom and then I have them spaced out fairly well. Hang on, that, good grief. Okay, so, so far, so far so good, right? Now we're gonna do a little bit of stamping in here and I'm gonna stamp that happy again right in the middle, just like that. And then I'm gonna bring in the birthday. I love the fonts that, the combined fonts of both of these I think are just really fun. We're gonna do that. Okay, we have this done. Now I think we can start assembling. And as long as we're here, we might as well stamp a little decoration on our envelope. And I'm thinking some snowflakes in that pool party is gonna be really cute for our envelope. So I'm just gonna do a few of those as long as I've got, oops, <laughs> got everything out here. I think that'll, that'll work good. We're gonna close these up and we're gonna put this together. Let's get these edges burnished really good. We're gonna take this and we're gonna add it right to this edge. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue right here. And again, just like I did with that strip of designer paper on the inside, I'm gonna come in this way so that I can make sure that I'm getting it straight that I have the same width all the way down this edge. Trim that little bit off. There we go. So far, right? So far, so good. Then we're going to grab our dimensionals and I'm gonna put my little arms in here. Now, probably the best way and easiest way to do that is with glue dots. You could use glue if you wanted to. Um, on another card that I made, I used dimensionals, but it was not a lot of space in the back here, so it was a little tricky with the dimensionals. So glue dot, and we're just gonna put our little arms right over there. And we'll do one right over here. I love building these snowmans. I think they're so cute. And now we're going to put dimensionals on our snowman. Then we have our hat. And I've got my black mini dimensionals. You get you get black and or I'm sorry, you get minis and large when you order the packs of black dimensionals. They're just handy to have. comes our little snowman and then here comes his cute little hat now one thing I want to let you know if you're not familiar with the stamp set you could have stamped this hat colored it in and then punched it out with the punch 
but I just chose, like I said, to keep this very simple, quick and simple. Put that on there. Now we have this, where's our gift card holder? Oh, right here. And this is the easiest thing in the world. We're gonna put this right in here. We are going to peel off that tear and tape, center this from top to bottom, and leave this all flat, just like that. And then we're just gonna close that edge. So what happens when they open up your gift card holder? This kind of slides like that. It's just something a little different. And then we've also got some decorations here on the inside. Last but not least, we need just a little bit of embellishment. And I am going to use my Take Your Pick tool. This makes a great stocking stuffer, by the way, for yourself or a stamping friend. They don't have one of these, definitely a necessity. There are a few things that I keep right by my area where I'm stamping and, whoops, where did that go? Oh, here it is. This is one of them, as well as my paper snips and my bone folder with my glue. Okay, here we go. Let's get all this mess out of the way. What do you guys think? Isn't that just super cute? Love, love these border dies. Then we've got our little gift card holder. Lots of little decoration here. Happy birthday. So this is gonna be for one of my, um, I think for my sister-in-law, she has a winter birthday and I always make her some type of a snowman card. Absolutely love doing this. Oh my goodness, you guys. I forgot one of the cutest little elements of my card. And that is to bring in some of this black and white gingham ribbon. And before you glue down your little snowman here, you want to wrap this around his neck like a scarf. So now this is gonna be a little more challenging. There we go. Do it before you glue your snowman down. Whoops. <laughs> and this will be a lot easier, but it really is worth doing. So hang tight here while I get this tied around here. That this was the cutest little element. I'm gonna tie it just like that. And now I didn't tie it in a double knot, I just tied it in a single knot. And then I used my mini glue dots to hold it in place. Oh, I can't forget. I can't believe I almost forgot to show this to you. I was just taking pictures of everything. And uh, I went, ah, oh, I forgot the scarf. Just gonna put a little mini glue dot right there. It's gonna kind of hang on to this part of the scarf. And then we're gonna pull this down over nicely and set it in place just like that. I don't wanna cover up all the cute little elements of my snowman here. So you wanna kind of maneuver that so it looks good. And then we're gonna trim these off. Oops, man. Isn't that precious? Black and white gingham. You can make it all different colors. It is just so fun to use. And now you can use it for a scarf too. Now, here's another card made with the border dies. We are using these border dies with the In Bloom stamp set and the Pierced Bloom dies for our online class in December. Nine different card ideas, also using the pattern party paper, as well as the border dies, the stamp set, the flower dies. You're gonna get some really pretty colorful cards out of this. You're gonna find all that information when you click up here and head over to my blog. Also, during for the rest of December, we have um, a card kit that I'm going to be sending everybody with a $100 qualifying order or more. So this uses the brand new celebration paper. You're going to get all of the pieces, the punched shapes to be able to make six beautiful floral cards when you place a $100 order with me. And you'll get a half a pack of the champagne rhinestones to go with that card kit. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. Now, again, you wanna click right up here to head over to my blog. This is part of a blog hop with the Stampers Dozen 
we are all going to be featuring winter wishes for our theme this month. You're also going to want to click right down here and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't want to miss anything I have coming out. I am going to be creating lots of new cards with new product. We have a spring mini catalog coming out January 4th, as well as celebration starts for January and February. So I'm going to be creating up a storm. You don't want to miss anything. If you would like to order any of those brand new products before they go live to the public, you can join my team and become a discount shopper or a business builder. It's completely up to you. And you can order those as part of your $99 kit that you get to choose $125 worth of product in. Anything you want. And it can all be out of the new catalog. So Again, that information is going to be on my blog. Click right there. You're going to find everything you need. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. You can email me at kelly at stampabove.com. You're also going to find a host code to place an order. If your order is under $150, use that host code. That'll get you some special perks from me. If your order is over $150, don't use that code. You're going to get rewards from Stampin' Up, and I definitely want you to have those. I hope your holiday preparations are going well. I hope you will check out the Winter Wishes blog hop with the Stampers Dozen design team. And thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me. Bye-bye.